There folks, good afternoon. The Earth Master here on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon, January 19, 2022 is the date. About noon here along the West Coast, latest quake out there on the Earthquake 3D Globe, a 2.9 striking up here. And it looks like just right around the Montana Idaho border, it looks like 2.9 coming into the region just outside of Yellowstone. Go ahead and check out the latest info here on the map from the folks at the USGS showing that 2.9 near Virginia City, Montana. 11 kilometer depth for that earthquake here. Uh, looks like just outside of the uh, Yellowstone area, which sits over here to the east. Not a whole lot of movement showing up here on the USGS map. They did add a couple earthquakes there to the regional um, earthquake map, but uh, most of those microquakes within that region. So. 2.9 latest earthquake there on the uh, map uh, west coast looking um, somewhat active a few earthquakes here over the last hour in the red circles a little bit along the creeping section of the san andreas fault and also down south here uh, just off the southern end of the san andreas fault along the san jacinto fault zone seen still uh, a little bit of swarming activity kicking up here down in this portion and also just outside here of the redlands area a few microquakes kicking up here uh, in that area of the state as well uh, throughout uh, Nevada and Las Vegas area still seeing a little bit of swarming here northwest of Las Vegas although not as active as um, uh, yesterday a few microquakes in that vicinity of Nevada and also up here around the Tonopah area Pacific Northwest pretty quiet uh, the rest of the country here a little bit of movement out past the New Madrid zone around the Tennessee area uh, it looks like another one here just to the west of the New Madrid zone too, a 1.6. So a little bit of activity kicking up there uh, just towards the uh, New Madrid zone, nothing significant. Uh, did see some further uptick in activity over around the Aleutian or the, um, excuse me, the in Indonesia area and also the Tonga area. See a little renewed movement here outside of the Tonga region, uh, 4.8 and a little bit further down south of 4.6. Uh, we did see a pretty deep 4.5 here into the Kermadec Trench south of Fiji, 534 kilometers for a 4.5. So some significant deep movement taking place once again here in this region of Tonga. Uh, just got to keep an eye on that uh, volcano out there for sure. There's the earthquake activity in the Indonesia region there. Uh, looks like a four, a couple fours and some uh, five, at least 5.3 there in that region of the uh, plates here also in the middle east region just outside of the iran region seen a 4.6 and a uh, 4.4 looks like in the afghanistan area over here along the eastern part of that country there's the earthquake up there off the uh, tip of greenland last night kind of just an oddball earthquake and uh, haven't seen any further movement we did see some activity south of south africa out here uh, along the Antarctica plate and the African plate 5.4 uh, they have this southwest of Africa at 10 kilometers you can see that in that blue circle there across the northern part of South America I've been watching a little swarm of uptick here across the uh, Ecuador Colombia and the Venezuela area uh, seen some uh, movement take place here over the last 24 hours nothing significant just some uh, a little bit of deeper activity and also some fours and whatnot kicking up here this 105 kilometer uh, deep 4.8 near Venezuela kicked up last night and uh, looking at the Puerto Rico area seeing a little bit of movement here uh, around the Puerto Rico trench again let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone map here while we're at it and uh, a little bit of activity kicking up here uh, just uh, there's that 2.9 right that the USGS stated there let me look at that real quick on the map uh, 2.9 in Montana although that looks like a little bit uh, possibly a little bit bigger here on the seismograph stations um, considering this is uh, somewhat far away from that uh, Montana quake uh, but then again could be uh, maybe not much larger probably maybe like a three or so kicking up you could, either way you guys can see the uh, signature here on the localized seismograph stations indicating that uh, recent earthquake coming in to the Montana region we have been seeing a little bit of swarming activity localized here. You can see all this movement uh, 
lot of spiky activity here indicating localized earthquake activity very minor uh, very minor earthquakes but uh, nonetheless some earthquake activity kicking up here at the um, right around the Lake Yellowstone area there in the blue uh, blue outline eastern part of the Yellowstone caldera um, other areas over here to the west and northwest uh, aside from the Montana quake there definitely seen some activity ramp up in the localized department here separate swarm of itself you can see a couple of spikes there you can see a pretty good handful of spikes indicating that uh, earthquake activity ramping up there at the northwest corner of the park individual uh, separate swarm from the activity down here um, so yeah kind of kind of getting a little active there at yellowstone but uh, it's always common uh, to see earthquake swarms and it's been a while since we've seen a good sized earthquake swarm these little I don't even know if I'd call this earthquake swarm yet, uh, but it is just a little bit of earthquake activity ramping up there at Yellowstone, uh, which we'll, of course, keep an eye on for sure. Uh, Earthquakes Canada map not showing a whole lot of renewed movement here. One way up here north, 3.5 in the north uh, Northwest Territories, way up there. Uh, that one occurring at about 10 kilometers below the surface. Other than that, not a whole lot of red circles here indicating the uh, activity over the last day. A little bit of movement off the coast uh, here of BC area and over here around the Ottawa uh, area. You can see that red circle indicating the uh, activity within the last day or so, 2.4. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Of course, trimmer map last night did kick up a little bit, uh, somewhat. 179 epicenters here into the region of the Oregon coast here down dip downstream here into the uh, subduction zone of the Cascadia solar weather ramped up as I mentioned last night we're looking at possibly a G2 storm and it did reach uh, the expected G2 class storm up here in the red they originally had this as well it was green right it had no uh, geomagnetic storming forecast and then uh, they bumped it up to a G1 and then it actually bumped up to a G2 pretty significant uptick in the solar wind uh, last night it has since calmed down into the green looking at uh, at least for now over the next couple days here uh, minimal activity of course that could always change in the blink of an eye it seems to be doing that pretty uh, uh, on regular occasion here when it comes to uh, trying to predict these things but uh, did have an M class flare M 1.5 over the last 48 hours and uh, sunspot activity remains uh, somewhat diminished Coronal holes, not really a, too much of a concern. We do have this one here kind of facing us towards the south and uh, stretching off over here away from us on the uh, on the uh, far side of the sun. Sunspot activity, like I mentioned, a very, uh, very spotty out here for the most part. Not a whole lot of significant development, but uh, as anything else in life and on the sun, it can change uh, pretty rapidly. So keep an eye on that activity is check out the buoys here make sure nothing's in event mode out here in the Pacific around the Tonga area looks pretty quiet for now uh, you know I can't be 100% certain if that's all uh, that uh, Hunga Tonga volcano is gonna do it's something to watch pretty closely and uh, you know volcanoes can really get uh, can really get going it can have a series of eruptions and explosions so uh, you know I'm not 100% certain if it's just gonna be one and that's it for another thousand years or or if we're gonna have a couple more that uh, remains to be seen, right? All right, guys, have a good day. Stay safe out there. We will be back a little bit later on uh, this evening with an update video. Uh, for now, take care, folks. going to go outside and enjoy the uh, beautiful day. Peace out.